What's happening, my people? <coughs> er, what's happening, my people? So it's your boy Chance Jollibit, aka Smooth, back with another video, man. You know how we about to do it on this YouTube thing. It's your boy Chance Jollibit, aka Smooth, man. About to hit you with another video, man. Yer, what's happening, my people? It's your boy Chance Jollibit, aka Smooth, back with another video, man. So today, what we're gonna be bringing you? It's a shoe that I have looked forward to, man. I have been loving this shoe for a long time. I know a lot of people probably haven't. Uh, this isn't something that everybody is crazy for. The resale price for it is pretty high, though. Like StockX and Goat and stuff, this is high. That's the reason why I bought this shoe. Because I've been following it on eBay and Mercari and stuff. And every now and then you can kind of find a cheap, cheaper pair, but it's rare. And this time I found a pair, it was going for a certain amount, I threw an offer out there, if, if you shop on McCarry, you know that's, that's how you do, you throw a very low ball offer. And usually somebody will counter with a, with an offer, so they counted, and I counted with a low offer, and they accepted. Because really, I wasn't trying to get this shoe at this moment, but I'm like, I gotta jump on this because it's like, shit, in the three, four hundreds on, on the secondary market. So I'm like, I got this for under two hundred dollars. So let's get into it, man. So big box on deck. So this is a Mercari pickup. If you have not heard of the Mercari app, I'm not trying to promote them or anything. They they aren't spots in this video. They should. But uh, let's see. Let's see what these things looking like. I hope they are what they supposed to be. You never know. Yeah. Uh, they must have got these from like an outlet or something because it looks like yeah there isn't a top to the box but this this neither here or there oh well it's all good but there isn't a top to the box but what this is is Nike ACG men's all conditions gear so Nike ACG Gore-Tex so y'all might be you know what are those and stuff hey these things are noise these things are not I like very dope shoe in my opinion I do have a pair of ACGs I think I will be getting rid of them because I have these now so it's not something that I need if I don't need two of them this is the other pair that I have but I have these on like eBay or something right now so uh, hopefully uh, sell these these quickly and I will be rocking with these and what I like about these is it's pretty much the same, like the bottom, and they have this right here. It's a great hiking shoe, etc. I don't really hike there. It's flat in Louisiana. There aren't any hills or anything to go climb up. It's very muddy. But one thing I do like about this shoe, it is waterproof. So one thing it does do in Louisiana is rain and flood, hurricane, all the above. So this will be a good shoe like I'm not a boot person I'm not about to walk walk around in big ass boots like Kanye West or anything so uh, an alternative to be fly and today it's actually raining so I'm about to go somewhere in a few so I will be putting these on since it will be raining and stuff hey might as well keep my feet dry you, you see this they have this this material it is it is very thick it's like a like a heavy nylon type material or whatever. The top is very stretchy, so look like that might be comfortable. They have this; you can tighten it up. I guess you can tuck this in as well, cause I see they have like a pouch underneath. So I probably will leave that little pink out just to give it a little a little pop of color or whatever. They are new. They have they still have the tag guaranteed to keep you dry. Gore-Tex. Uh, ACG. Like, I've seen a lot of ACG products and stuff, so I guess it's like a hiking company or something. I guess they they do like a lot of stuff like like this, like off. 
about to say off road or anything, but I, I don't know if that applies to walking. But uh, things of that nature, hiking, trail stuff, or whatever, they got the bottom, and I think there are different kinds of, of uh, rubber at the bottom. Let me see. 068 hard rubber, like on the outside and stuff in the inside. Uh, 004 sticky rubber. You probably won't be able to see that, but it's just different different types of rubber for, I guess, trails. I guess if you're gonna be walking up something or whatever, like for you to keep your footing, you won't bust your ass. So, I like this, man. Let me see. Nike React Fly Plate. So it looks like they have a lot of technology on here. ACG Mountain Fly Gore-Tex uh, is designed and tested in Oregon, USA and made on Earth. It's made on Earth? Wow! I, did, I wouldn't have thought about that. <laughs> you see the Gore-Tex on the top. Uh, the little like, I would say that's like digital stuff or whatever. It's just some little lines. Just some little lines. So there's nothing, nothing too crazy. But I don't think this is something that everybody will love. I like them. To me, it reminds me of a Yeezy uh, in certain aspects. And it's weird that I'm going to say this because I know a lot of people, y'all would not agree with me. I rather, I think this is like a Yeezy alternative in my world and I rather this shoe because I'm just a Nike head. I like some of the Yeezys and the aesthetic, but it's like, I'm not a big Adidas person in like a lot of my clothes, like most of my clothes are Nike or Jordan brand. So I would rather rock with some Nike stuff than some Adidas because yes, Yeezy is Adidas and Kanye just be that nigga crazy. <laughs> so man, check these these things out. Do you like these? Do you not like these? What are those? Uh, but if you did watch the video, man, I appreciate it, man. So I'm gonna show you some on foot, on foot uh looks or whatever, and that'd be the video, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't be the greatest and the most hated. How this boy? Peace. Okay, so I was able to put these on feet so I wouldn't walk around and check these out. And they're very snug, but I did get an eight and a half because the price, I got these for like 170 with shipping and fees and everything was 170. Uh, if I would just go on StockX and something look for my size, it'd probably be 150, $200 more. So that is why <laughs> I got got this size, uh, and the the fitting on them, you feel very high on the, on this shoe, man. Like it, it feels like your heel is way in the air. Like if you were a small guy like myself, I'm like five six. Like I feel like I'm about five eight in these things right here. So you are high, high, high. And I would say you stick with your normal size. Um, I think you might want them to be like a tight bit snug if you if you want to go for the waterproof purposes. But 
maybe not. Maybe if like especially if you have maybe if you're a wide ankle person or something like this, probably still would uh would be tight around your ankle or something and be waterproof or whatever. If that's what you what you want in the shoe. But being that there aren't any laces or anything right there, and if you are hiking or something, I don't think you would want your, your foot to be shifting in it. But you probably could go up like a half a size and be good in this right here. I do think that this one right here is a little bit more comfortable. But the fact of the matter is this is my normal size, so that could have something to do with it as well. But this has, like the heel, it feels, I think it's like the same size, but you don't feel as high in this shoe right here. In this shoe, you feel like you in it. You feel like you on this shoe. So this one is a little bit more comfortable, but I think this one is a little bit more stylish. So that's my thoughts as far as the fitting.